as you will no doubt be aware, the DJI Avata 2 and flying packs have started to leak online. Today, we're going to give you all the details in a very quick video update. Interestingly, the main leaks really got going in an unusual way this time. Rather than the usual online leakers starting off the high quality leaks, there was actually a Facebook post from a training company employee showing the new goggles and discussing a demo that they had just had of the Avata 2, which is obviously very unusual in terms of even a pre-announcement, let alone pre-release. The post was subsequently taken down, but the picture of the goggles was quickly shared across the usual leak accounts online and pretty much everywhere. Uh, across social media. Since then, we have started to see more in terms of alleged pictures of the drone itself and more pictures of the goggles. This drone has been in the ecosystem for a while now, and many of us have had reasonably in-depth discussions with people who have been beta testing the product. There seems to be a weirdly slightly more open approach with this product. I'm not sure if that was necessarily intended, however. The original Avata has been a solid product and possibly ended up in the hands of many users that DJI might not have expected. The sheer versatility of the ducted Whoop Star Quad means that it's become pretty popular with emergency services even in the UK, with police using them in a host of scenarios, including clearing spaces and safety checks, etc. So, It'll be interesting to see if DJI build on this use case and develop some of their own add-ons which have currently been designed and produced by third-party manufacturers. Let me know in the comments below if you have the original Avata, if you love it like I do, if you might consider upgrading or if you would be interested in the Avata 2 for the first time. We read all the comments. I'd really be interested to hear your thoughts. For me, the advantage with the Avata is the easy access to safe and simple cinematic shots for clients. Be that a simple fly through, and my fly throughs are very simple, or faster sweeping shots than those easily achieved with standard camera drones. It's provided GPS pilots like me an easy window into FPV without needing to disappear down the rabbit hole of building and setups. I would expect the Avata 2 to continue down that path. I'm not expecting it to be a more hardcore FPV drone and most likely it will appeal to a wider cross-section of those already attracted to the current Avata. So what do we know about the specs? Well, let's start with the Avata 2 drone itself. Remember, this information is gleaned off from off-the-record conversations, online leak posts and the like, bringing together the information repeated and confirmed in enough places to deem it a leak without, of course, having full confirmation. So keep that in mind that this is all leak info at the moment. The drone itself will weigh in at 458 grams. So still good news for the A2 CFC users in the UK who will be able to operate the drone in the A1 airspace. There is a 3400 mAh battery and three inch props are expected within that weight. We've seen some talk of it being three and a half inch props, but We'll have to wait and see on that one. So that will likely bring relaxed auto flights up to the 25 minute range with manual high stress flights coming in at around 11 to 15 minutes. It is expected to offer 10 bit color with D log M. Stability will be through Rocksteady 3.0 plus, Horizon Steady and Horizon Balancing. The camera will share the characteristics from the Action 4 action camera with a one over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor, giving 48 megapixels in the usual way. Resolutions will include 4K with frame rates up to 240 frames a second, but we'll need to wait to see what mix that actually takes up. So we're likely to capture better footage from the drone itself over the original Avata, which of course will be useful. Other leaked details of the drone unit includes a 155 degree field of view, Looking at the picture of the drone unit, and it does indeed look much like the current Avata with a few tweaks, so it's likely to be an iterative improvement. Although it is only the second model of the series, so I would expect to see more improvements over the first Avata than, say, we do with the new mini series of drones, because there is a greater development distance, a greater development curve to cover initially. If the leaked pictures are the final product or renderings of them, it looks like the body is made up of fewer elements, so it might be more difficult to repair in terms of breaks to the ducts. Next up, and the new goggles are likely to cause more of a stir than the drone itself, and that is down to what seems to be promises of augmented reality, or AR. The leaks show front cameras on the actual front of the goggles, two of them. This would suggest you're going to enjoy 
increased situational awareness, being able to see your surroundings through the screen in the goggles without needing to remove them. I have a sneaky feeling that this isn't actually the only or even the primary function of these front cameras though. There are some rumors and talk of other features, but without any solid confirmation, we'll leave that for another video. One question we've had a lot already in terms of the UK drone rules is whether or not this would remove the need for a spotter when flying the drone via the goggles. In terms of legislation, you would not be able to fly these particular goggles if they have the front AR um, uh, situational awareness cameras without a spotter still, as the drone needs to be visible by the human eye and not via a screen feed of any kind. However, I am sure it would be taken into consideration in terms of operational authorizations from the UK CAA, so there will probably be room there somewhere to fly without a spotter, although not in terms of standard flight unless they change something in the legislation, of course, or perhaps even guidance. The way the goggles will be put on appears to be similar to AR goggles with the option to flip the goggles themselves up. This will be interesting in terms of whether or not we will see any light leak, etc., as that can sometimes be a difficult one. Um, looking at the the goggles here as you can see with that strap above it's going to be interesting to see just how tight those goggles remain on the face and whether or not we're going to start seeing third-party products very early to be able to achieve um, something like a closer fit. The specs are rumored to include a goggle weight of 420 grams, 1080 feed and 60 frames a second with a 2450 mAh battery. Diopter range is looking likely to be minus 8D to plus 2D. In terms of pricing and release date, at the time of recording this video, we do not have enough information to tie it down. But of course, those retail page leaks are likely to follow closer to the release date. So I will let you know. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button to hear more about the updates as they come in. Release wise, there is a lot of talk around April, but very little substance so far. The FCC filings used to be a very good indicator of when a DJI product will drop. However, under negotiation, the timings and what is published on the FCC website has changed a little to allow the manufacturer more flexibility in keeping new launches quiet. I am excited for this new product, but remain on the fence in terms of whether or not it will be an automatic upgrade for me from the original Avata. Let me know what you think in the comments. Sean out.